boy AP tonight. How's it going? For Finding Wolves, we are at Willoughby South High School to watch Willoughby South take on North Royalton. When we say North Royalton, you know that boy, Jazz Suleiman. We're gonna try not to be biased tonight because he's one of our own. If you've seen any of the training videos online, you know that he works out with us all off season. Him and his younger brother, Omar, who'll be dressing up and suiting up for varsity night. So we're gonna be waiting to see if he gets in. So we want to see what Willoughby South was all about. We haven't watched North Royalton yet this year. We haven't ever watched Willoughby South, but it's the home of Kareem Hunt. So everybody love it here. So we're gonna see who is the best. But like I said, we're biased. <laughs> so it, it's gotta be dead. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. AP got the chain on. I'm feeling clear. I got my I got my shoulder movement going. We in here, baby. Man, we outside. Yeah, hey, come on, we outside with it, baby. Seven in favor of Willoughby South. What you think, up-tempo game? It's very up-tempo. Um, uh, a little out of control, but they're kind of figuring it out. I think they tried to fill each other out for like the first four minutes of the game, and now they're kind of figuring out what offense they want to run. Yeah, like we never seen Willoughby South, so I don't know who's new and who's not new. Everybody new to us. But I know for North Royalton, they got a, they got a lot of new faces playing varsity, and they kind of trying to figure it out. This is their second game, so they're trying to gel together. As Willoughby South, I can only imagine this is either their first or second game, but I think it's going to be an up-tempo game this whole time. Like, both teams look like they want to score and get up. So it's, it's going to be who plays the best defense and who can make shots. Yeah. North Royalton in and out game is crazy. crazy. So they're figuring it out. Hitting jumpers, getting to the basket. <laughs> Quick, explosive guard. We were worried about him at first because he was kind of just being timid, just passing the ball around, but he was trying to get his feel. But when he goes downhill, he got some moves yeah. that he could pull it's out. It's his change of pace that I really like for real. Cause he's like coming downhill, kind of slow rocking a little bit when he drops his shoulder. You know you're a little bigger than those high school kids. Comes down, he can slow down when he gets to the rim. He doesn't just throw up anything. Right. Gets to the basket. I'm kind of excited to see how he works in the second half though. Just kind of see like, because he's going to be the focal point of the defense from this point on and just see if he can get other people involved and see how his playmaking is because he's obviously their lead guard. Yeah, because he, between him and number three, number three is a big boy, likes to go downhill. I'm kind of curious to see now because Jed, Jed is carrying North Royalton, of course. I mean, he's got a block. He's got some points. He's looking for people when he's running that point, and he's being very explosive tonight. This is a, this is a new version of him that we're seeing this year. So I'm excited to see what kind of second what kind of second quarter they're both going to shape up for us. The only thing I'm worried about is number one stamina. It seems like he gets real tired, like he presses that trigger button and just goes nonstop. So. Coach, Coach did a pretty good job of the way that they kind of took him in and out of the game. Last 30 seconds of that half, or last 30 seconds of that quarter, take him out, get your breathers in, so you can see how it go from there. Exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, 26 20 at halftime in favor of North Royalton. Hey, man. I know I said we weren't going to be biased, but my boy Jed. It's tough not to be at this point. boy putting on the show right now. He on this end, that end, this end, that end, in every play, looking for people. And man, let's, let's give our boy some love. What's his name? Number 23, Dylan Lakatos. Man, we got to change his name. Yeah, listen, that's Drew Isn't Will, that, man. <laughs> he got it. Hey. Not not Lou Will, but Drew Will. Not Jason Will, but Drew Will. Hey, that boy don't eat baked chicken. He eat lemon pepper, hot wings. Come on, man. He got so much flavor. And he still dip them in ranch. Man, <laughs> he really got a bag on him. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> hey, the one that he pulled off the three from Jed just right away, just pulled the quick three, then came down again, had another top three, then came down, he missed the layup, but had had the extended extended layup, and then came down and looked somebody, hit him with a no-look pass. Like, that boy got game. This is first, that's what I'm saying. This is his first year playing, so we haven't seen him. And then the big number 24, like, Jan has weapons with him this year. And then it's opening up what he can do. And then you see, like, this is not even because we work with him, but you see what he did all summer, all offseason. The product is showing now of, like, how much work that he put in. Getting up countless hours of shots, ball handling, working on his right hand. I mean, he started the game off with an explosive right hand layer. Yeah, I thought layer. It was, you had to tell me he was left handed. I yeah. had no idea. Like, with his right hand. Like, so it's just, it, there ain't no gimmicks here. We do simple stuff, we put in the work, and it's showing. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, I'm biased, but he's really doing what he needs to do. And mm -hmm. then the thing about Willoughby is the point guard, number one, uh, Dylan, I'm worried about him because it's pace. Like, it, it is. It's, Constant downhill, yeah. downhill, downhill, which is good because you always putting pressure on the defense. He's the only one really willing to penetrate every play. But like you said, it's, it's, it might it's be too quarter. much for him. It's yeah. Four quarter. He kind of has like that Russell Westbrook type of like he wants to go downhill in that pace. But the thing about it, like look at Westbrook, he can sustain that in all four quarters and then come back. His problem is he's he's holding that trigger button just like in 2K, and then he's getting tired in the like three, four minutes, and then. He's done with it. He's tucking himself into the corners or he's coming out the game, which makes his team ineffective because, like I said, he's the only one that can really drive downhill and create for his and handle team. the ball. Like the, the 30 seconds that he's out, you can kind of see it. some laps in judgment from the other guards that come in and kind of give him a spell for a little bit. So and there's a lot of end of the quarter kind of taking him out. But like at the end of the day, like it's a game of runs. You can score three buckets in a minute and a half. Oh, you <laughs> You're right. Um, but I mean, like his game is good. The, the best that he's playing, like he is quite obviously the best player on Willoughby South. When he's going, they're going as a team. 100%. It's just being able to put him on your back and kind of let the team know, like, hey, I'm going to get this attention. He's, he got doubled probably the last three minutes of the second quarter. And he made, yeah, and he, and he made some good And reads. he made some good plays, but it's just Willoughby South having to kind of drop shots and kind of showing that you're a little deeper than the roster looks at the beginning of the game. And you just need some players that's not getting doubled to kind of step up and, you know, make sure they're getting Hit it some shots. Because especially I, if you know he penetrating, you got to be ready to catch and shoot and get that thing going. And not to be honest, and not this is never knocking the culture nothing, but I do like that second unit that Willoughby South put out with them. I just think they got a little bit more to go. I like the balance between both, but I think that second unit right now for this type of game with North Royalton, the pace that they're playing, I would put that second unit in and kind of let them yeah, they, take their Yeah, uh, because the, the starting roster is pretty much good for like maintaining. You can tell it's good maintained roster. Their offense doesn't move that fast. It runs through one. He goes one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. finds somebody. That second unit came in, just like you said, though, and they kind of just turned up the tempo, came downhill. They ran diamond press the first play out, which are usually <laughs> you try to get their feet wet first. And the first play that came out of the cell was diamond press, ready to go. So I do like the way that they changed the pace of the game, depending on what five is in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good second half. Like, it's still a six-point game, a lot of defense. Some of it's sloppy, but just a lot of defense on both teams. Like, both teams are very scrappy. They play hard. They play fast. They know how to rotate. So it's going to be a low-scoring game tonight. but. We'll see what happens in the second half. Back off. Right now, just both teams just kind of coming out too fast, not really getting the, sh the shots that they should be getting or want to get. They're just kind of rushing. Willoughby South definitely came in way different defense. I'm pretty sure they're running like a 1-3-1, one, one, making sure the pressure was extended, diamond in the 1-3-1. Um, I like the pressure that they're showing. They are being a little more aggressive and coming downhill, but like I said, they picking up the pace and being able to pick up the pace is definitely two different things. So they kind of need to readjust and find that happy medium between how slow they were playing and how fast they're playing now and, you know, be a little more consistent in what they're doing. And North Rotten got to stop hiding in that press. They're like hiding 
away, not getting to open spots, showing themselves like that middle and then that back sideline and then even that, that, that basket cut. Like, you should have all three of those slots open at any time, but they're just kind of hiding. So let's see, see how the rest of this third quarter goes. All right, 35, 30, 32 with 12 seconds left. Now is Willoughby's ball. Ohio needs a shot clock because of stuff like that right there. Like that five second call, I'm really not a big fan of because as a guard, you're trying to probe. So if you don't know what probing is, probing is when you're just dribbling the ball, trying to wait for something to, to set up. And that's kind of what Jay was doing, kind of getting him off his trail a little yeah. bit and spacing out. And you got to be arm's length away yeah. for the five seconds. Right. They really need to shot because arm's length is very open for interpretation at this point. Because the kid kind of back, he backed up, tried to see what he was doing, came back. And that's why Jay is literally probably trying to figure out where the move he's going to go. And it's 12 exactly. seconds in the game, like 12 seconds left. Don't, Don't make yourself a part of the game on that. Like it's, you know. Let them roll, man. We'll see what Willie D has. because. If, if I'm betting any, they put their they put their score back in off the bench. If I got anything, I'm gonna guess they're gonna try to tie this thing up right now. Thirty-five, thirty-three at the end of the third quarter in favor of North Royalton still. North Royalton, that the play by number twenty-one, the little guard, like that's so crucial in basketball. The line number one for uh, Willoughby, he can go downhill, he can drive all that stuff. Why would you foul him if you're still trying to see if he can shoot or not? Don't even just contest it, but hand in the face. Don't yeah. come across his shoulder. It just yeah, don't even be open. in the vicinity where the ref can call it. Like just be right there to contest right here. Just such a bad foul. He is doing a good job of like, I think the line's doing a really good job of showing that he can play with anybody on his team and kind of get them up a little bit. They actually put him in with that second unit. That was the first time I had seen that. And that's when the run kind of had to happen where you can see they barely scored in the third quarter and all of a sudden it kind of turned up the tempo for both teams, kind of him setting that tempo. We got to see if Jay kind of steps up a little bit this quarter and just extends that lead. They've been doubling him every time he touched the ball. So kind of, you know, seeing if he can get those right reads and get some buckets. Let's see what this fourth quarter does.
47 to 40 in favor of North Royalton. 134 left in the fourth quarter. That boy Jed putting on the show, man. That's a nice little up and under move. Way to get fouled. Missed the first, locked it in, hit the second one. The last two minutes of the game, under 10 points, you know it's a ball game whenever that happens. So that's when your veterans come out. So we know for Willoughby South that the line is going to get the ball. Now, that's the first jump shot that we've seen him hit. So now that he hit that, seen the ball go through the basket, he's going to be in attack mode both ways. And, they're, and they are looking for him to score, and they're looking for the shooter. I didn't, I didn't see his number, but they're looking for him. Like, he's the only one rotating around. Uh, 21. What's my man name? Let's give him some love real quick. Hold on. 21, 21, 21, 21. What we got? What we got? What we got? Luke Couples. Luke Couples, a junior. Let's see how the rest of this fourth quarter goes. It's a ball game. Hey, man, North Royalton sealed the deal. But, man, Jed really, Jed's game has picked up big time. He, he had his fingers all over this the whole game. You know? Like, it ain't even nothing I can say about both it. Sides of the, yeah, both sides of the ball, too. Like, literally both sides of the ball. Offense, controlled the tempo, made good plays when he had to make when he got double. He was playmaking, making sure he was doing what he had to do. I watched him guard point guards, fours, fives, keeping people out of their spot. At the end of the game, a couple clutch free throws, clutch moves, clutch passes. Like, and that's, and that's what you what you expect out of a vet. When you got your vest on the floor, you're a senior, you've been playing varsity for four years, that's what kind of things that you, you're able to do. I mean, my boy, look look at him. This shit, boy. This shit. That's a good game, kid. Oh, oh, this shit, boy. Say hey, hey, to Proud of y'all. This shit. My oh, God. Okay. We said hey to everybody, so that's why we stopped. But <laughs> I guess we'll just end it here. Coach Lovett, AP, Chad, Danny, Finding Wolves, we out.